An update on the MTDI Transit projects. This is a two litre front wheel drive one. Uh, this belongs to my brother. Uh, he bought it just to tide him over while we do an engine swap and a few mods on his VW T4. Uh, we bought it with uh, a knackered pump as per normal, um, which is down there. That piece of junk, VP30. Uh, if you pull them to pieces, the mechanical bits are always fine. It's just the electronic bit on the top that goes wrong. It's a lot easier to see on this one than on the rear wheel drive one. And it's a lot easier to fit as well. So there's the pump. You can see it bolts straight up onto the flange. Uh, we've got our top hat bushes in there. I'll get the torch on that so you can maybe see it a bit better. You see there's a bush in there. This adapts to the PCD of the pump to match the back plate. Uh, I've got some brackets that we made up for an accelerator cable. Go here. Uh, here's the cable. That plugs into there. Through this hole here, obviously attaches onto the throttle there and it comes all the way around here and it will go through a hole just below the servo about there um, to a, a pedal mechanism uh, I've already made <laughs> two or three of those actually there's one on that thing there that's still running all right back to this we've got it just hooked up we have a can of diesel here, just to make sure everything's running right. So, I'll start it up and show you. Oh, made a mistake there. I've got to connect my engine management system, which is this wire here. That's my one wire system, as opposed to this thing. That is now redundant, it's a vestigial organ. So, we plug that into here on the stop solenoid, which is a bit difficult with one hand. And we'll go and try it. Ignition's on. Mill lights flashing nicely. Here we go. Oh shit. <laughs> right, we got the jump leads on, so take two. Let's see what happens. It's a nice sharp throttle response, everything seems to work right. Um, the timing is pretty well in the middle because it'll run at either extremity of the adjustment on the sprocket. Now you can see the inlet manifold fits on like that. So we've got no clearance issue, we might have to just extend this a little bit, that's all. I've completely removed the EGR pipe. Uh, the EGR valve fits on here. You can see we've got no problems with interference there. Uh, I drilled a hole in the um, EGR piston which is now closed all the time. Put a blanking plate over the end with a small nipple that comes out that transfers the manifold pressure up to the LDA top. There's a diaphragm in there, the manifold pressure pushes the diaphragm down which gives the pump 
more fuel um, as the manifold pressure builds, so you get more power. Uh, I'm really happy with these, my other one's performing well, it goes quite well now we've got the internal components correct. Uh, and I'm really happy driving them with no recovery insurance because you don't just get sudden death like you do with the electronic ones. They are dead reliable. And um, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.